Monday to Friday, bringing you news that's going to keep you informed, engaged, and reacting in the most optimal way for your business investment and entrepreneurial activity. Today is the 5th of September. Let's talk about it. Excusez-moi, you know, so welcome, folks. This is uh, the Haiti Business News Show. Uh, we are for the folks. I'm doing this is going to be a little different for some folks because as you're listening to it right now, uh, it is the 5th of September, but I'm actually shooting it a little sooner and I'm shooting this episode in my office. I'm shooting it in my office because I couldn't get gas today. I told folks, I told folks uh, this was possible uh, on my broadcast yesterday. I said it's most very, very much likely that it was gonna happen and it did. That's so I'm shooting it, you know, a delayed live is what I call it. A delayed live, and you're gonna we're gonna uh, drop this on a timer for you to watch uh, tomorrow at six thirty for folks, and uh, and for my folks on the radio, uh, you'll get it. You'll be getting it right now at six thirty. So just bear bear with it. You know we've got to make do with what we got, what we're working with here uh, in the in Haiti you know we just got to make do what we got and what we have is the situation with gas that's affecting all sectors of the economy and and, and honestly it, it, it didn't affect me for a while because I had a bunch of gas containers that I was using to uh, get by and sustain myself right but lo and behold, uh, my gas reserves ran out. My gas reserves ran out, and you know, here I am now with officially uh, suffering, uh, just like everyone else, suffering just like everyone here in the country with limited gasoline. And a lot of stuff I'm looking to do, a lot of stuff I had to do, I'm going to do, trying to do, uh, but. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. And, and, and you, you can even argue and say, oh, well, you can get a tap tap and motor, but there's very few tap taps because tap taps and gasoline to operate. There's very, you know, even the moto drivers, a few that are even uh, have gas, they're charging quadruple the price right now, you know, triple, quadruple the price, right? Uh, it's tough. It's tough. And it's all led and pointed. Uh, solely at the responsibility of the government who's created this crisis and is, has been unable to act. But we've talked about this too much for this week, too much for the week. Uh, I want to talk about something else, something positive, <laughs> right? And and that is the Burger Week, you know, the Burger Week. And now, not too many folks living uh, in the states, or abroad, know about the what the Burger Week is. Honestly, there might be there may not be too many people in Haiti who who know exactly what the Burger Week is. This you know this is the only second only the second year that it's had been happening. Uh, this is only the second year of participation in Haiti, though it's it's something that's been going on for over at least eight at least started eight years ago. Uh, for at least six rounds, I mean, we're, this is the sixth round, but, and again, we've been around part two of those rounds. It started in Montreal, Canada. And what it is, it's just, just like it sounds like, it is a celebration. It is a celebration of burgers, right? A celebration of what so many 
I love to do, you know, bite into a nice, juicy burger. And, and so what's so cool about it is just how uh, ubiquitous it is. So many restaurants are part of this. Um, so many restaurants. You have, and I'm going to read the list off just, just to get, get a sense of how many folks are part of this here. We have a Cocoye, Ali's, Smokey's. We have uh, Midi Express. Uh, so good. We have Pistachio. We have El Rancho, Pizza Garden, La Fouchette. We have Azu. We have Coin95. We have Munchies. Another part of this, Smokies, JoJo's. Whew. Oh, man. I'm getting tired just looking at this thing. Haiku, a Poulet de Ro, uh, Point Show. Portofino, I mean, the list goes on. Quarta Latin, Habitation uh, Turpin, Kinam, Totos. I mean, the list goes on and 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 on. And it's a massive, massively big deal. Uh, and the, the burgers, the, the, just the photo, the images that I've seen of some of these burgers, man, have been just. Uh, you know, I want to just pull my screen and and just grab it, you know, through my phone usually, and just bite into it. Delicious looking stuff, I'm telling you. Uh, you know, and it's not without controversy, honestly, because I know when it first came out last year, there were a lot of Haitians that were like, well, you know, why are we celebrating this Haitian, this this American thing? You know, because burgers are very much pro-typically American. You know, burgers are very pro-typically American. And they're like, well, we, don't, we have our own stuff. And, and so Pate Code Week uh, was something that was created as an offshoot to this. It was an offshoot of um, the Burger Week. And there was another one too, man. I don't remember what it is. Um, it's, it's, it's sort of, uh, I should have asked my buddy who, uh, really champions this. Uh, it's a very Haitian dish. Uh, it's made out of this thing that it looks very much like mashed potatoes, man. Um, it has a very different texture. Yeah, I, I'll remember at some point, I'll mention it in my, in my future cast. But uh, but but nonetheless, a celebration of uh, very native Haitian uh, food items. I've got offshooted because of Haiti, of, of uh, uh, the burger week. But the burger week remains the Premier, you know, you know, hands out favorite for for this sort of event, and you have restaurants who you know they prepare, they make sure they have food in stock, they do custom marketing, all. And the, what's the goal? The goal is to get votes, and to be registered uh, as the best burger of Haiti, right? And there are all the press and promotion that entails right and there's different categories right because there's so many restaurants participating it's not just one winner there's uh five to ten different categories that a sandwich can be found to be successful in and they get noted and they get no notoriety for where their burgers land right which i believe is very very cool you know very very awesome you know um, and uh, I, I, you know, hats off to, because I was planning to talk about this anyways, but hats off to my good friend, Bibi, over uh, on Radio One, who reached out, uh, well, I reached out to her, and I was like, oh, she was dropping some awesome stuff on her Instagram, and uh, and I was like, well, you know, let me let me know which, which restaurant you're going to it's at some point, and, and we can connect, and she reached back out. So like, hey, yeah, sure. This is Chris. You know, you know, I'm coming over here. I'm going to Toto's. And I was like, Toto's? Never been there. Never heard of it. But I'll go there if you're going. And I went there. You know, and y'all should just check, check out my Snapchat uh, on C-S-E-E-J-E-A-N-T-Y. -E and I'm um, talking about some of the stuff uh, I was, I was, that had, it was in front of me there, the burger, the fries. Oh, my God. Oh, so good. Like, yo, I don't. That was my first the burger burger of the season. And I'm telling you, I don't need any others. You know, we had some cheese inside. 
Um, sauce is on point. Cheese, juiciness. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to go back. That is a fact, you know, just to have another serving of that. But hats off to BB for, for the invite. And, and that's the cool thing about the, the Burger Week is just the amount of just really cool restaurants that I had no idea even existed. You know what I mean? I mean, I had no idea whatsoever that they existed. And, and yet, you know, here I was, you know, finding out about these, these restaurants, really, that's the really the cool part. But so many just really cool, just great ambiance, you know, just very modern eateries that, that I was just under the radar that I didn't, I like, remember, I'm a guy, I'm taking you guys to restaurants, to my favorite spots on C Gentian locations. And I didn't know about these, you know? So, so this is the real cool benefit of the burger week is the fact that you get to find out through these cross promotions that's going on of these really cool restaurants and eateries that they're on my radar now. And there are, they're going to be places I'm going to take, I'm going to go myself. I'm going to take friends. Uh, when I when I have people visiting, I'm gonna take them there because now I know, and and that and that is the cool part. And that's where I think all, even the most cynical person uh, of the Burger Week can appreciate, you know, uh, that aspect of it, right? So again, hats off to BB. Uh, you know, do follow her. Uh, I don't have my phone near me, otherwise I'd share her info, but I'll, I'll go ahead and make sure to include that in the description to make sure to follow BB as she goes to uh, a lot of these different, for this whole week, she's going to a lot of these different um, burger uh, restaurants that are participating and she's featuring them. It was funny with BB is that she doesn't, she's not even, uh, she's, she's vegan. She doesn't even eat meat. And so what she's doing, she's bringing friends. She has, she's having friends come over uh, and accompany her and, and just you know, and getting their opinions of the meat. <laughs> so that in of itself is just cool to, you know, to say, oh, I'm a vegan going to burger, burger week. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> so again, hats off to, to BB. We, we appreciate you here uh, over at 80 Days News and MC. And I definitely certainly appreciate you. All right. Uh, before I jump to the next story, announcements. You know, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to talk about announcements. Remember, as always, we have you know, YouTube, CGNT. We have you know, a big part of what I do. And for folks who don't know me and don't know what I'm trying to do here in Haiti, uh, and on top of you know, having a few business ventures myself here, uh, I am a big believer of promoting the country. It's a believer that it's on us the Haitian American, the Haitian Canadian, the Haitian Chilean who's come back. And not only is it our responsibility to, you know, start ventures, work together to help others start ventures and be successful, but it's on us to broadcast that, broadcast and be part of a different image because for too long our image has been controlled by outsider has been controlled by the, per the, the, the organizations that depend on a negative perception of Haiti. And it has to change. And, and there's a lot of people in my age group that are a part of that change right now. And it's, it's a great to know that I'm, it's not just me, you know, I'm part of a wave of people. And I certainly want even more people to have their own YouTube channels, own Instagram, own you know, whatever, whatever the new thing is, TikTok, you know, showing, you know, the, that particular generation uh, who's using that particular software, uh, that there's more to the country, there's more to Haiti than the crap that is being broadcast at CNN, the, the fly-by-night international news media that only comes here when there's a crisis, right? It only comes here when there's the worst, the worst, and, and never shows anything else related to the country, and, and minus maybe voodoo. Uh, to make it some sort of mysticist thing instead of you know, what it is, which is uh, a inherent part of where we came from, right? 
And so, uh, so that is a long way to get to the point of saying you need to go to my YouTube CJNT channel. You need to subscribe. And to say that the most recent episode that I dropped was on Rev Cinema. Rev Cinema is a movie theater that is the only movie theater in Hayden. Uh, it's uh, was at a smaller venue and relocated to a larger venue, and it's doing it's phenomenal. It's doing some really cool stuff that uh, we need to get more eyeballs on. Uh, you need to go and visit. You know, the, if you're in town, if you're in town for an extended period of time and you just want to unwind, unstress, or something, do an activity that you're familiar, go to a movie theater, <laughs> right? You know, go to the movie theater. And, and, and there's always a lot of really good movies, a lot of this really good vibe. And I showed you that. I'm showing you that. That's why I want you to see Gente. I'm showing you that experience that I went through and went to and, and had uh, a really good time. So I'm gonna check that video, check that video out, see Gente. And uh, and while you're checking that video, I'll get hit that big red button and subscribe to it. Okay. So next story. Oh, uh, you know, unfortunately we're we're right back to politics. Didn't really want to get to, to you know to it. Uh, well, not necessarily politics, but you know, a situation. It's not, you know, and even this case is positive actually. So, so what happened is that the uh, new prime minister Fritz Fritz Williams uh, has been confirmed in the lower house. He's been ratified by the lower house, uh, led by Gary Bodo, and it was it was an easy road to being ratified. It was an easy role. He, the, 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 the chamber had gotten ransacked, ransacked again. The chamber had gotten ransacked again. They got ransacked by four senators. Uh, do, 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 oof, struggling on this one. Dies de Ronet, okay. Joseph Manel Louis, Renard Exantus, and Jean Robert Bossier, uh, four opposition members, who instead of doing the democratic thing and just voting their app, you know their their apps, you know the fact that they're in, in opposition, decided to go into the chamber and ransack it. And this is the second time. The first time it happened under Minister Lapin, where. Another set of four senators or deputies didn't uh, agree and totally ransacked the, de the chamber then, and that totally shut down votes. This time, however, uh, they didn't allow that to happen. This time, they tried to push through and, and get the vote done, and they were actually successful. The, the, the seance was supposed to start at 11. Instead, it started at four. They learned from that experience. The head of the chamber made a point to have backup <laughs> desks and chairs. So the ones that were broken, okay, were moved out. The new ones were moved right in. And then they had a quorum, uh, had 81 people in attendance. They voted, the end vote was 76, four, uh, two or three abstaining, and then, then there were no against. All the all the senators who were against um, did not did not attend. Did not attend. And so, uh, you know, so within literally at five, uh, four they started, three or four they started, and literally within five hours they uh, had the, you know the state PM provide a statement, uh, a discussion in assembly. Questions and answers by a series by the you know by the elected officials there, and uh, and all this didn't last five hours. You know everything happened quickly. You know with uh, that much ruckus like last time under La Pin, there was quite a bit of ruckus that happened. And I remember what happened to La Pin was the, there was a lot of opposition because the fact that the uh, the, the Senate or the, the the parliament, sorry, the parliament had voted out, the deputy chambers of particularly had voted out, had a vote of no confidence and voted out, voted them out. 
the prime the prime minister at the time, which was Sam. But then, and so when that happens, your entire cabinet is supposed to go. The entire cabinet is supposed to, you know, you know, not come back for a revote. But, but like more than almost half of the prior cabinet of La Pen came back, including La Pen, <laughs> which, which you know, the, the the was not per the interpretation of the constitution of many of these senators or, and, and deputy. And so there was a massive, massive pushback, and especially there was one, uh, that one minister in particular, the minister of justice who released the, the, the uh, court of Americans that were uh, in the country uh, with massive guns to do and work for the president, right? Massive controversy. And that was unacceptable, in particular to have him come back because there was a lot of anger that he would have allowed them to come to leave without any real investigation, any real, uh, and, the, and again, the way they, they left was just like, they're just walking out the airport, you know, they man, they pied, as the expression goes, just relaxing. And a lot of centers found that, you know, that alone also being a problem because in any other country, they would have had handcuffs, they would have been handcuffed on the plane and only unhandcuffed maybe when they're in the air or at least uh, on the ground in their country. And so for all those reasons, they wanted the just minute of justice gone. And the fact that he was back on the La Pen was a big problem. Uh, this time for, uh, for the new PM, Fritz, uh, William, that isn't the case, right? Uh, we do have effectively a brand new uh, cabinet and, and then that has appeased many of those who were very angry uh, prior, right? And so, uh, so now what's next for the PM is, well, what's next for the PM is to go to the Senate. For those who don't know, we have two houses. We have the lower house, we have the upper house, right? We have the lower house and we have the upper house. Actually, I did have my phone. Where is my phone? I did have my phone here earlier. It just came to mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's thing with lives you can't really cut. Uh, so uh, lower house, upper house. And so the Fritz uh, PM, the new PM, has passed the lower house. And now he's going to the Senate to be confirmed there. And once he's there, he's confirmed. And, and actually, finally, Haiti has a government. Finally. Right. Uh, and I hope having a government means we can enact new policies uh, or at the very least uh, one reason one of the things that was holding the IDB giving us a hundred and fifty some odd million dollars no interest loan um, has been we didn't have a government and so I uh, certainly hoping with that new infusion of money will help then the government pay the oil distributors in the country and allow a return of normal normalcy for gas in the country. Uh, of course, ideally, the situation is still untenable. Ideally, uh, there needs to be a withdrawal and a tap, a pullback from the subsidy. The subsidy is uh, really, you know, again, I've talked about this many times on the, on the stream. Um, you know, on one side, just looking at it, just with financial terms, it, it, it's, uh, it's untenable, it's unsustainable to have a uh, that uh, that much amount of money uh, going strictly to fuel, whereas it should be going to, arguably to hospitals, to education, to police, um, to just building roads, to so many other sectors that are so crucial to the economy. Yet, uh, it's, the fuel is so such an important underpinning aspect of the of this society that we live in here in Haiti that I wonder if it's not. A way sort of to make a deadbeat dad do what's right right in the sense that you know the fact that haiti is spending so much in the, the fuel subsidy and the fuel subsidy is going to every aspect of life here in haiti that that is sort of a way that the haitian government is actually doing the right thing and providing for their people because keeping uh, those costs lower food transportation electricity, energy, I mean, everything flows from this cheaper fuel that Haiti 
had Haitians enjoy relative to if they were anywhere else in the Caribbean. Uh, I just question, you know, is it really for the best? And, and and given that Haiti's government is a deadbeat dad, <laughs> not really doing uh, anything that it should be doing to take care and provide um, care. And so this is sort of like a child support sort of deal that forces money to come out and, and, and really, improve, in a way, allow the life of Haitians to be much more endurable because they're not paying a very a much higher cost because the full, full price of fuel isn't being bared. But certainly, this has shown, this, epi this continual epidemic of fuel shortages have shown something has to change, has shown that this, this way of living with this fuel subsidy isn't sustainable. And and we need a new direction. We need a new direction, right? So we'll see. We'll see. Um, the the so on Thursday uh, later today we will uh, find out um, where we are with the PM. He's supposed to go and, and present himself and his board and his, his policies to the Senate and and be ratified over to LA. As well, and then, and then, and then we have a new government. We'll see what's next. So we'll keep an eye on that. We'll certainly report on that uh, Friday or Friday's episode, you know, tomorrow. Right. So I, I appreciate the folks who who listened to or to, to the stream. Um, we appreciate the folks who listened on Bonj FM. Uh, you know, again, Bonj FM. By the way, I haven't talked about them enough yet. There was some great work. They got a lot of other great programming that's happening. You know, so if you're not following Bonja FM, they're on all the major social media, Twitter, IG, they're all on all of them. And the and the broadcast can also be listened to on TuneIn, right? You know, on TuneIn. And also Bonja FM is gonna have their own app. The app's not out already. Um, you can you know subscribe to your favorite, your favorite uh you know, stream or show, right? And then get a notification when they're online. And so I highly suggest you guys uh, check out Bonja FM. A lot of cool stuff going on, a lot of good programming going on, thought provoking, um, value added programming, all Haiti focused. Man. That's, that's cool. I mean, come on, Haiti focused, like legit intelligent content. I mean, you know, so check out Bonja FM, check them out, right? Uh, again, if you like what we're doing here, you know, Monday to Friday, you already know you should subscribe to us, right? Um, I have a lot of stuff going on in terms of, you know, helping bring a different light to Haiti. Uh, so if you like what we're doing here, you know, share it across. Go to my channel. I got so much cool content over there. Uh, you find something you like, share that too, right? And, and of course, subscribe. I'm on Facebook. I'm on IG. I'm on uh, Twitter. I'm on all of them. Follow me on all of them. I, I provide different content. I know different what's going on, you know, in my mood. You know what I mean. So do subscribe. Subscribe to, to, to those. Et tout le monde qui est écouté me sur Adjo Ajoncia, mon Monsieur, et Popon, c'est pas pour le magavale, non? Okay, c'est pas pour le magavale, non? On peut parler que très bien, oui. But comme je dis, c'est une mission pour éduquer frère ou sœur nous qui est là-bas et en plus pour son cas un peu âgé pour pour retourner pour venir pour investir pour by expertise et pour les évaluations et les bâtiments des pays OK ce so, merci OK pour qui des blancs ça la blague en anglais sur la journée et listen guys until we're back at it again hey we we'll be back at it again and hopefully in the radio station on Friday because I'll be able to find guys sometime today please <laughs> please <laughs> all right guys peace